so we're here with Flavio Orlando. He's an exchange student from Italy, uh, near Venice, Italy, correct? Yeah. And he's here at Vasquez High School doing his senior year here. And so we're going to interview him and ask him some questions on how it's been here for him. So how did this come about? How did you decide that you wanted to come to America for your senior year? How did that um, come about? Like I applied to an exchange program and decided to go into the United States. Okay. And then I just happened to be here in California. I didn't decide anything. Okay, so they chose California? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then it's a program and then you just, they tell you where you're going to be. And okay, so do you, how many brothers and sisters do you have back in one, the I have one brother. Okay. And So how um how is it here? How's the difference in schools? What's it, what are the differences? Like yeah. Do you feel like um I know in Italy less independent or how? Oh, like you mean for transportation? Yeah, for transportation and just, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, probably nearly can take public transportation. And how is the, how is it different here in the actual schools? Like what is, how is it in Italy and how is it here? Like, first of all, in Italy we do five years of high school. When you go back to Italy, you're going to have one more year of yeah. high school. But you get to graduate here and go through yeah. all the motions here. Yeah. Do you feel like the classes here, are you ahead? Do you feel like the classes are harder or easier here? Uh, here, easier. Easier. Yeah. Okay. So in Italy, they prepare you more in high school for what you want to do in life as a profession? Well, for classes. Yeah. because I know in uh, my neighborhood there is another high school where my brother did not go to. I also learned about agriculture, but uh, not like how to run uh, a farm. But, uh, okay. Many kinds of That's very interesting. So, I always got to teach you teachers in a uh, high school for uh, folks. Do you have any pets at home? Any animals? No? Okay. So do you live in the city like, uh, I know they call them flats. Do you live in, or do you live in a house? Okay. So, um, and it's right in the city of Venice? No, I live an hour away from Venice. Okay. It's, it's another province. the buildings it's just so beautiful so it's, is it like that I mean the pictures we see is it all I mean is it that beautiful yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. well most of Italy I mean Italy is beautiful yeah, yeah. so have you been to a lot of different parts of Italy uh, yeah, yeah okay and so how what has been your um, I would have to say Mr. 
Sparks yeah. class. So you find the American government is interesting and yeah. different. Yeah. Okay. What do you What do you plan on uh, studying for a profession? Okay, you're Italian high school. Okay, so hold on one moment. Um, is the when you when you do your classes here mm -hmm. and you get a grade, does that transfer over to your Italian high school? The grades is it uh, similar or, is it, or do they not go by grades? How does that work? Uh, so they are there are grades but with different names. So instead of going from A, B, C, we have ten, nine, nine eight, seven. Okay. But also I would say uh, getting an A here is much easier than getting a 10 in Italy. It's impossible to get a 10. Okay, so the standards, it's a like, lot I more difficult. A, I have an 8 in most of my subjects in Italy. Okay. It would be 80%. Wow. So, but here I easily get an A. Like, okay, so. so the standards are tougher over there? Probably. Yeah, but also, I mean, they don't like, Teachers don't expect you to get over 90%, that's impossible. Okay. It's just nothing that you can do. Okay. And the, um, the amount of work as far as homework and studying, more in Italy, do you think? Yeah, also, we do much more theoric studying. Okay. So, I mean, studying, studying and taking notes in class. Okay. When we go to class, it's uh, like the full class is uh, a lecture from the teacher. This experience, I mean, are you happy that you came? Do you feel like yeah, it's, yeah. It, and do you feel that, uh, what, do, what do you think you're going to take back with you as your, your best experience here? Uh -oh. Like in the weather or a place you visited or, yeah, maybe or school life or whatever. Yeah. And you're making friends to yeah. keep in touch with. Extracurriculars, like besides, uh, are you an ASB? Yeah. Okay, so have you been enjoying that and being, yeah, taking that part in the fun. dances and things? Yeah, yeah, that was fun. And how do you feel like teenage life is similar for middle Italian teenage life, or um, like the kids are they different yeah. or the same? Or? Well, we we can't drive till we're eighteen. So oh, okay. Different. So that's different. Holidays, you you didn't see them, but do you talk to them a lot or Skype? Oh, well, I talk to them in the weekends. Yeah. Do you do the photo Skype thing, or yeah. you, so you can see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, okay. So, so besides swim, um, what are some of your hobbies that you like to do, even if you don't do them here, but in Italy? Like, what are some of your favorite things to do? Um, I sometimes play the guitar. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you're in Italy, I think is a school day longer. Do you find it? No, we do five hours a day, but we go to school on Saturdays. Okay. So I mean, at the end, it's always thirty hours per week. But and you go on Saturday too. Yeah. So your only day off is Sunday. Yeah. Okay. And do you get a lot of homework, like, um, or do you feel like it's because you have Saturday too? Are they? Not no, so hard they, on homework, or they still do. Okay. A lot of homework, yeah. Okay. So, is are the classes very different as far as math? Like, are the math classes uh, the same? Or? I think math is the most similar of the. Of all of them. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, it's still math, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> right. Math is math. Um, So, 
like we don't have to turn in assignments. We our only grade is based on tests. Okay. We take, so we don't have to turn in stuff. And they, so it's basically you pay attention, you take notes, and then the, the grade is the test. Yeah. So you basically have to go to class yeah. and take your notes and study because you, you, exactly. instead of doing all these assignments like they do here for a grade note. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Once you do take notes, but if you don't, that's on you. So. Okay, so that's on you. Yeah. All right. And it's are the classes kind of more independent? Okay. Study. So, are the classes sizes uh, bigger there or smaller? Well, in my Italian high school is uh, uh, kids. Uh, high school. My class, well, we don't change class. We are 31. Okay. And it's pretty big because I think the maximum is 32. Wow. It can be. What is the name of the town that you live in? Uh, well, my little town where my house is is Tincarola. Tincarola, okay. Yeah, but my, like the county, the province is Padua. Okay. And you came in August? In uh, September 1st. You came September 1st and then? Go back right after graduation. Uh, on the okay. So you spent some time here with your mom. Oh, good. Okay. Awesome. And um, when you when you do your um, when you find out your host family is, how did you meet the foxes? How did that work? Uh, they just told me from the association told me we have a host family for you. Okay. So and then they meet you at the airport. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. pleasure knowing you. I think it's been fun for the kids to have you here. Yeah. And uh, what do you have anything um, anything you want to end the this interview with? Anybody you want to thank or anything? Uh, well, definitely thank to the Foxes that uh, host me for one year. Okay. <laughs> took me many places. Awesome. Okay, thank you. I was wanting to um, 